not a crook. Welcome to Law Bite. The following is for entertainment purposes only. I'll never tell a lie. It is not legal advice, not even close. And now for the very finest in idiotic legal news and commentary. This is Law Bite. A Massachusetts man named Kofi Osei just got nailed for stealing millions of dollars from people in online romance scams. Now, what's an online romance scam? Well, basically, it's where you post a fake profile looking for love. Now, a real person falls in love with that profile, thinking it to also be real. Then the fake profile starts coming up with a sob story and asking for money, which I think is always a tremendous way to start a relationship. Now, here, Mr. Osei, the Massachusetts guy, he would pretend to be, for example, an overseas oil worker looking for love. Now, in the midst of his torrid internet affair with a nice lady from Pasadena, his oil rig would explode. Oh, no. And then he would be framed for it and then thrown in jail, which is why he just needs $65,000 for bail. Okay. Now, personally, I've been scammed, but this one would just pass me by. For example, in my younger years, if I had fallen in love with some fake internet ballet dancer and she just needed 65k because her ballet studio got burned down what i would probably say to her was eh well that sucks they'll be fine the money but that's because i had no heart also i didn't have any money but some people do have a heart and money and they want to share that money with the people they love and that is what makes mr osei such a terrible person he takes advantage of that but it's not the taking advantage of people that's illegal. It's the taking of their money by promising to be something you're not. For example, if you really were a swarthy oil worker who sustained a freak explosion, became caught in a web of international espionage, and then was unjustly thrown in a Turkish prison, if you really were that, which is possible, then there's no fraud. Keep the 65K. But if instead you're actually just a dude covered in Lay's potato chips on your basement couch, then there's a problem. And that's why Mr. Osei is going to prison for four and a half years. By the way, while he's there, please don't give him any money. He's not an oil worker. Until next time, this is Lawbite. See you then.